Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is grounding your array. Now, there's a lot of people that say don't ground your array. There's some that say, oh, you have to ground your array. And by code, you probably have to ground it. The reason why they say don't ground it is because it's basically a magnet for lightning now up on the top of your roof. I mean, that's you've got ground rods there, and that's what it's for. But you need to do it. So this is how I did it. I used a bug nut. Or, uh, let me sw swing around here. So, got my main number six ground wire coming down off the earth ground with two ground rods down over the edge of the house. Bug nets wired in, so both sides of these are tied in to the ground assembly. Um, and those are, these are Casey clips. They're a phone man's, um, for grounding out phone cables. But basically there's there's little jagged edges on both sides of that thing and then two screws that clamp it down one that clamps the, the one clamps down the um the jaws basically and the other one puts the uh clamps a wire onto to it um you could probably stop any phone guy along the road and say hey you got any casey clips they probably give them to you and then this here is just an electrical bug nut um they also call them acorns. Anyway, guys, that's how you ground it. You know, they, like I said, they say, they say don't, <laughs> they say, they, you know, I don't know. They say don't do it. Some say do do it. I don't know. I, I don't have a, I don't have a preference there. But I did it because it's, it is code here.